Shalom. Shalom. This is Yair Debris speaking to you from the land of Israel. I represent Brit Am, Hebrew Nations, a movement and an organization that searches the whereabouts of the lost in tribes. We have found them amongst Western peoples and we have proven it from the Bible, from rabbinical sources, from archaeological evidence, mythological evidence, linguistic evidence, from numerous fields of study, for any, from any field of study that had something put into this, to say on the subject, we have examined it, looked into it, and we have proven how from all the different directions uh, there is evidence that the lost in tribes are to be found amongst Western nations today. We are not saying that everyone in those areas is descended from Israel. We are saying that that is where the lost ten tribes are to be found, where they may be recognized and where they were destined to fulfill their, their Yahud, their task, their future destiny, as if to say. And that is what the Bible says about them. And this is confirmed by secular fields of evidence. Today we are going to discuss one aspect of the lost ten tribes, that the lost ten tribes were destined to rule the world uh, at first uh, separately from Judah and after that together with Judah. Judah in biblical terminology means the Jew, the, the Jewish people. The Jewish people are Judah and they did not lose knowledge of their ancestry. They did not lose knowledge of who they are. They had their own task to fulfill. They were destined to learn the Torah, to keep the Torah and also to begin the resettlement of the Israelites in the land of Israel, which is what they are doing. And we will we will continue, we will get to this, we will return to this subject. For, uh, at all events, God created Adam and Eve, who was the first man and woman, Adam and Eve. After, from them came all of humanity. There's only one ancestry, one ancestry for all of humanity. All of humanity basically is similar to each other, they have the same ancestry to each other. There was the same potential to be one like another, for good and for bad. And this is what the Bible tells us. After that, the people of the earth uh, went in the wrong, along the wrong pathway. They did bad things, and the whole of mankind was destroyed in the deluge, apart from Noah and his family. And so we have another beginning of humanity from Noah and his family. The three sons of Noah were Shem, Ham, and Yafet. Shem, Ham, and Yafet gave rise to all of humanity. There were 70 sons. 70 sons were, were or, or descendants are listed in Genesis 10. Concerning Shem, Ham, and Yafet, 70 sons or 70 descendants that gave rise to 70 nations. Seventy nations from Shem, Ham, and Yafet that descend all the seventy nations or different ethnic groups of the world. Uh, Abraham was descended from Shem. Abraham gave rise to Ishmael and Isaac and also the sons of Keturah. The sons of Keturah may have been... Um, uh, one uh, woman, or the name Keturah, may represent several women. At all events, Abraham uh, begat these people. After that, Abraham also begat others, and uh, amongst those he had given rise to were Isaac and Ishmael. Ishmael is the forefather of the Arabs, or many amongst the Arab peoples, and Isaac being, became the forefather of many amongst European nations. Isaac begat twins. Uh, Isaac begat, begat twins, Esau and Yaakov. Yaakov or Jacob was renamed Israel. Esau was renamed Edom, sometimes referred to as Sa'ir, or Mount Sa'ir in the Bible. The descendants of Abraham, that is Abraham, Yishmael, Isaac, Keturah, and their, Osh, and their descendants, including the 12 tribes of Israel, number 70. So we have 70 sons of Noah, and from them we have a devolvement, as if to say, the 70 descendants of Abraham listed in the Bible, and later we will find 70 sons of Israel. So this is significant. According to tradition, such as the Vilna Gaon, who was uh, the, the, the genius of, uh, of Vilna, he was a great uh, rabbinical scholar in the 1700s. 
and he knew what was going on in the world, and he said that all of the non-Israelite nations, all of the Gentile nations, may be divided between Yishmael and and Esau. Esau is also known as Edom. So we have Ishmael and Edom. And all the nations of the earth, the non-Israelite nations, belong to one camp or the other. Now, it may be that there are nations of the earth who existed before, before Ishmael and Edom came along. But nevertheless, somehow, either they, as if to say, they were predestined, predestined to be associated with one or the other camps. This was something that was implanted in creation, and it may be that later offshoots or descendants from either Ishmael or Edom settled amongst these other peoples, even though originally they had nothing to do with them. This uh, may be understood to say that every nation in a cultural, sociological sense has certain characteristics, certain uh, attributes that... uh, allow us to associate them with one or the other camps of humanity. Returning to Abraham, we have the Bible telling us that Abraham begot Isaac, Isaac begot Esau and Jacob. Esau, as pronounced Esav or Esav in Hebrew, Esav was also known as Edom and as Sair or Mount Sair. Jacob was also known as Israel. Israel had 12 sons and became the 12 tribes of Israel. Tribe of clans of Israel, number 70. There were 70 uh, sons and grandsons who were listed in Genesis chapter 46, also in Numbers chapter 26. There we have 70 offshoots of Israel. That is the, the sons of Israel and the clans, the grandsons and the uh, major tribal groups in the Israelite nation, altogether number 70. And uh, we find these names repeated, uh, sometimes even in archaeological finds, but we also find them repeated in the Bible, as uh, the being the names of existing clans in the Israelite nation. So they have 70 of these clans. And these 70 clans or tribal groups of the Israelite people are parallel to the 70 nations of the earth, or the 70 sons of Noah. You see the Midrash by Midbar Rabba 914. Also we have the Bible. The Bible in Deuteronomy 32 verse 8 says, When the Most High, that is God, gave the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of man, he set the boundaries of the people according to the number of the sons of Israel. The 70 sons of Israel, the 70 nations of the earth. Uh, and so... The 70 nations of the earth somehow or other are parallel to the 70 divisions of the Israelite nation. Why? Because in the future the Israelite nation will rule over all the peoples of the earth. And the Bible tells us that the Israelites are destined to rule the earth. See Genesis 27, 29, 48, 19, Numbers 24, 8, Jeremiah 51, 20, Micah 5, verse 8, Psalms 47, 1 to 4, and uh, other, other sources. In the end times, the Bible tells us that the Israelites will ultimately rule over all all the nations of the earth, but before the end times come, there will be a struggle with the descendants of Edom. It was uh, predicted when Esau, that is Edom, and Jacob were in the womb of their mother Rebekah, they struggled one with each other, and the angel told Rebekah this is because two nations were, were within her womb, and they would always struggle with each other, and one would try to dominate the other. And this was to continue until the end of time. So Esau is the adversary of Jacob, of Israel, until the end times. And we also have Joseph. Joseph, who is a representative of the ten tribes. He's a light nation, the, uh, twelve tribes of Israel divided into two different sections. One section became the Jewish people, Judah, and the other section became the ten tribes who ultimately lost, and lost their knowledge of and awareness of their ancestry. They're known as the lost ten tribes. The major tribe amongst the ten tribes was known as Joseph, or as Ephraim, uh, said in a generic terminology, 
and uh, they too have their task to fulfill. And their task was to lose awareness of their ancestry, to go down to the level of the Gentiles, and then to revolve upwards and bring the rest of the people with them, and that is what they have done. And also their task was to bring about the defeat of Edom in the end times. And this is what they will do. And be, but before the end times, Judah, that is the Jewish people, will have been persecuted and oppressed by Edom. See Psalms 137.7, Lamentations 4.22, Ezekiel 25.12 and other verses. But at all events in the Messianic era, the Israelite nations, including the ten tribes and Judah, will defeat and rule over all nations of the earth, and especially over Edom. See Abijah 1.8-9, Abijah 1.18, Ezekiel 25.12-4, Amos 9.12, and others. We also have a Midrash, the Midrash says, quotes 27.29, blessings to Jacob, and the blessings to Jacob in uh, Genesis 27 29, it tells us that uh, Jacob was blessed, let people serve you and nations bow down to you. Be Lord over your brethren and let your mother's sons bow down to you. Cursed be everyone that curses you and blessed be everyone that blesses you. The Midrash says, what does this mean that people serve you? These are the 70 nations of mankind and nations bow down to you. These are the descendants of Ishmael and Keturah. Be Lord over your brethren. These are Aesop and his dukes and his counts and, and princes, they also shall bow down to the Israelite nation. We have other biblical verses referring to the fact that the Israelites will rule over the nations of the earth. There are quite a few verses, a few of them include Numbers 24 verse 8. It says, when God brings him out of Egypt, he is for him like the horn of the rain, like the horn of the unicorn. Uh, he will devour the nations who are his adversaries and crush their bones in pieces and shatter them with his arrows. Psalms 47, it says, O clap your hands, O people, shout to God with a voice of joy. For the Lord most high is to be feared, a great king over all the earth. He subdues peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chooses our inheritance for us, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves. Jeremiah 51 verse 20 says, he says, you are my war club my weapon of war, and with you I shatter nations, and with you I destroy kingdoms. Micah 5 verse 8 says, The remnant of Jacob will be among the nations, among many peoples, like a lion among the beasts, of the forest, like a young lion among flocks of sheep, which if he passes through, tramples down, and none can deliver. So that is it. This is, uh, in a nutshell, that is the blessings and the destiny of the Israelite nations to rule all over to rule over peoples of the earth and to go do good and to bring a blessing to all peoples. May the Lord God of Israel bless you. Thank you.